Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel CS Pictorial. This video is about the procedure for simplifying Boolean expressions using Cornoff map. The simplification procedure is explained in a very easy way. Watch the video until the end. Basic introduction about Cornoff map and K-map grouping rules are explained in our previous videos. Kindly check the links given in the description. Let's check out the K-map simplification procedure step by step if the given boolean function is in sum of products form, SOP form. Kindly check our previous video if you need a clear idea about the SOP and POS forms. The first step is to select the K-map according to the number of variables given in the boolean expression or boolean function. You can use a 2 variable K-map or a 3 variable K-map or a 4 variable K-map etc. according to the need. Then identify whether the given boolean function denotes min terms or max terms. If the boolean function is represented as sigma m, that is summation of small m, it means the boolean function is for sum of products and it denotes min terms. Whereas if the boolean function is represented as pi m, pi capital M, it means the terms in the boolean function are max terms for POS form. Now, as it is decided that the given boolean function has min terms, put ones in blocks of k-map respective to the min terms, zeros elsewhere. Do not forget the order in which the k-map cells are to be filled. It follows the gray code sequence. It is always a better practice to first number out the cells as shown here, then fill up the cells. In this example, place 1 in the cells numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 12 and 15. Fill all the remaining cells with 0. Make groups with total terms in powers of 2 trying to cover as many elements as possible in a single group. A detailed video about the rules for grouping of cells in KMAP is available in our channel. Check that video, it will surely help you easily understand this step. Continue making groups until all ones get covered. Make larger groups, overlap groups and wrap around the table wherever possible. From the groups created, find the product terms and then sum them up for the SOP form. Let us first consider this group, not the corresponding boolean terms. This group points to the terms A bar B, A B and C bar G bar. K-map works on the basis of complement laws, so here A and A bar get cancelled and the terms B, C bar, D bar get into the final simplified expression. Similarly, the next group points to A, B, A, B bar and C bar, D bar. Here B and B bar get cancelled making A, C bar, D bar get into the final expression. The next group points to A bar, B bar, C, D and C, D bar. Here D and D bar get cancelled making A bar, B bar, C get into the final expression. In this case, since there is no adjacent cell containing 1, we make a group of only 1 cell. This results in the expression A, B, C, D. Now let's check out the K-map simplification procedure step by step if the given boolean function is in product of sums form, POS form. Repeat the same steps as done for SOP form. First to select the K-map according to the number of variables involved in the boolean expression or the boolean function. Then identify whether the given boolean function denotes min terms or max terms. When you understand that the given boolean function has max terms, put zeros in blocks of k-map respective to max terms and place ones in all the other remaining cells. As said already, it is always a better practice to first number out the cells as shown here, then fill up the cells. In this example, place 0 in the cells numbered 0, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11 and 15. Fill all the remaining cells with 1. 
Do not forget this is the major difference between the SOP form and POS form. Make groups. Again, the total terms should be in powers of 2 and try to cover as many elements as possible in a single group. Continue making groups until all zeros get covered. Make larger groups, overlap groups and wrap around the table wherever possible. From the groups created, find the sum terms and then multiply them up for the POS form. Let us first consider this group. It points to the Boolean terms A plus B bar, C plus D bar, C bar plus D bar. KMAP works on the basis of complement laws. So here C and C bar get cancelled and the terms A plus B bar plus D bar get into the final simplified expression. Similarly, the next group results in the term A plus B bar plus C bar. And this group gives A bar plus C bar plus D bar. The same procedure is done when a group wraps around the table. This group points to the terms A plus B, A bar plus B and C plus D. Here A and A bar get cancelled and the term B plus C plus D gets into the final simplified expression. Please note down the Boolean terms for every corresponding value. Okay then, it's done for today. Hope this video would have been informative. Kindly like, share and support our channel. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such computer tutorials. Hit the bell icon for sure. Thank you for watching.